Well, I guess it started with Napalm Death. You know, they, uh, they were pretty much one of the first bands in the world to play the way they do. And like, they influenced most of the other bands on the label, as well as you know, all the grindcore bands in the world, really. And uh, I got to know them through, uh, just with friends with them, basically, in 86. And so uh, they made a demo tape, and no one else would touch it, no other labels or anything. So um, I thought, well, you know, I loved it. So I put it out, and uh, that was their first album, Scum. Um, so after that, you know, that became the blueprint for uh, most of the other bands around. This is Night Palm Death on what we can say a Tuesday afternoon in Birmingham by the canal. As you can see, great setting. Chuffed and weakened at the same time. I'm a totally happy person. I mean, when we're chop, you know we're chop. When we're ping, well, that's slightly chop. That's like slightly like that's yeah. like you're not happy. You're pinging bad. Someone yeah. has pinged you. <laughs> yeah, they've, they've pissed you off. Weakened. Well, that is when you're like you're going to be. <laughs> you're ready you know, for a rhino you're charge. You're ready for rhino charge. You know. Yeah. I was in Terrorizer. I was in a band called Righteous Pigs. We just sort of met them through like tape trading, I guess, magazines, and just uh, writing and sending tapes and just saying like Truffle Napalm and stuff like that. <laughs> Napalm was sort of, I guess, promoted in, in such a fashion that not not forced down people's throats, but it was in places where, you know, people could see it and they sort of thought, well, what's this like, the fastest band in the world, sort of thing, in quotes. We sort of abandon musical standards. We don't write songs to, you know, to like the rock sort of format. I mean, we, I think we're pretty much the end of the line. I don't think you're going to get a band that's going to go more extreme than us. He got me into his sort of thing, you know what I mean? It started from the, the early extremes like Motorhead and stuff. And uh, my dad, like, he understands everything about Napalm, you know what I mean? He doesn't just like it just because, you know, I've taken active part in the band, he actually is into the music sort of thing and he understands it. My know? dad doesn't understand it, he never will. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he'll never How understand he it. Mama, he oh, well, he's, he's coming to his. Turn it down, turn that bass down, that's stupid. Yeah. What sort of vocals are them? something inside, I don't know what it is. So like something wants to break out, but it's a chuffed feeling. <laughs> so I'm so chuffed about everything, and I don't know what else I can say. Mm. I'm just bloody chuffed. <laughs> the music we play, I mean, it's, it's... I don't think you can get any more extreme. To speed-wise, it's the fastest. I'm proud to say it's the fastest. You know, nothing can be faster. Sorry, Dave. You know I mean, but yeah, you know, it's just not fast enough, mate.
never going to be any hint of melody, no palm yet. I mean, it's uh, something that I wouldn't personally like to sort of go into because it bore the fucking tits off me. Um, I mean, we, we, we just write it naturally, yeah. You know? I mean, we don't strive to do anything. I mean, some songs could, you know, turn out to be like two minutes long and then we'll do one, it'll be a minute long and, and whatever, yeah. You know? I mean, there's such a a diversity of, of lengths, it's just whatever we're happy with, we'll just say, right, just go for it, and I'll go away with the tape and just write the lyrics over the top, so. People just are more, more interested in restraining themselves these days instead of going fucking mad like. And I just, it, you just lose a certain amount in the music if you do that, I think. I'd say things have got a lot more aggressive music style. No, it's it's yeah. you know, the songs are a lot longer, but that doesn't mean you know, anything's changed. So there's a lot more going on with the songs now. Whereas before we'd you know, do like the average song was anywhere between 30 seconds and a minute. I mean well you can only fit so much into that, you know, but now we've got songs up to I guess three and a half, four minutes, which I guess is gonna be the maximum. I mean okay. we can fit a lot more into that nowadays and there's just a lot more going on. I've only got one hobber, getting tattooed. My <laughs> legs, my back, and my arms. I mean, I'm totally into it. John Foster Tattoo Studio, Birmingham, Selly. Show me tattoos. Show me a few. Show the back. <laughs> if you want to have a look, yeah. you know, I'm fucking. <laughs> yeah, I'm ginger. I guess I Now, this is punk, this one on the back. <laughs> <laughs> guess like my arms. That I'm is bad. a classic. Oh, <laughs> Taken okay. from a, a really old, I guess, famous yeah, I've punk got, paint. I've got shit on my legs, you know what I mean? Fucking, I guess all over, really, you know what I mean? This leg as well, fucking. I've been working on this, fucking. I guess, you know, all over. I'm going for a full Japanese bodysuit. <laughs> then I'll be chuffed. Yeah. Until I'm, except for, the, except for my face, hands, feet. That's where it stops. You haven't mentioned your work. Nah, nothing on, nothing on the dick either. <laughs> my ass, that's going to be tattooed. I mean, what really happened was uh, there were a few bands in America that 